certainly two mothers who uh, slept in double bed, uh, twin beds. No, I had a double. Oh, I was the first one on television to have a double bed. You didn't oh, have really? Yeah. We would refer to her as the hussy for a while. Yeah. A variety of experiences. All of it doesn't happen in the home. Some of it happens at a track meet. You know, it's... You see, everything she's saying, what I used to say about the Beaver Show, because it was exactly, it was, everything was taken from real life. There wasn't an episode that was made. There were 234 shows. Yeah. They were all based on facts. Right. And that's what changed. makes them that's real. Right. It yeah. makes them but real. Barbara, uh, you, we have to concede. And, uh, you, there, are, uh, there were women in my office who shall remain nameless, who did make this point to me, and I think they spoke for lots of uh, people, who felt a little bit uh, disappointed that their mother wasn't like you. <laughs> This is not a criticism. I just, for the sake of our discussion, don't miss my point. Um, their mothers actually yelled at them. Yeah. And Beaver's mother never did that. But yeah, yes, she did. Oh, come on. And I'm a Mrs. grandmother on the blue show. I, I played the grandmother. And believe me, I get pretty teed off with my grandchildren. I, I know it's 20 years later, but... Yes, can't we agree, though, that uh, your character was certainly much more con narrowly drawn than... Absolutely, but... It was based on life through the eyes of a child. Mm -hmm. And that's what they always stressed. This was the way the child saw life. Yeah. And, and they, uh, we all see our lives yeah. and we expect our, yeah. our parents are perfect, yeah. everything is perfect. Yeah, but I just... We I have to concede it, yes. Well, well, <laughs> and all, but it is a fascinating... You do hear, all of you, reflect the, uh, in, in, in the most general way the changes of this culture. You really do. It's I, not always for the best, is it? Does Loki seem to like to go back to the old street with the backyard and the little red wagon in the driveway? And well, I, I have a daughter-in-law and a son that live that way. Do you? Mm -hmm. And they're happy? Ideally, but I don't see... There must be some times that everything isn't perfect. But when I go to their homes, it looks like it is. I want I want I <laughs> That's because you check the top of the refrigerator, I bet you oh, do. No, I don't do that. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. Absolutely. They come up to me and say, you were my mother. You were my second mother. Uh, you were all my family. Really? And really? I'm still, three generations, they're still doing it. Apropos of that, and found uh, Leaves the Beaver. And I'm thrilled because it's a wholesome show for them. You know, it's just uh, terrific, I think. <laughs> I think Thank it is, you. too. In this day and age. I'll say it is. This confidence. We and did that, that same story on the Brady Bunch with cigarettes. The exact same story. We did it with a pipe. <laughs> <laughs> with a pipe? <laughs> same story. Same story. Yeah. yeah. Same story. And before you, radio did it with, the, with the Sears catalog. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Barbara had the same problem? Didn't I had two sons, as I had on the show. Did they feel threatened at all by me? I don't think so. They weren't that young. You know what, other thing I have to, I don't know whether it's important or not. Surprisingly, that's where the program originated. Programs. You're in a brownstone. Where was I? <laughs> Middle America. <laughs> yeah. What were Beaver's years on the two? 57 to 63. And it's never been off in a lot of cities. No, there's no doubt about it. Uh, you're, uh, but that's where we made it. Yeah. Well, here we go. Down memory lane. Roll the tape. Oh. Stop! Stop it! Now stop it! It was all his fault. Now, I've had enough of this, and it's going to stop. Now, both of you are going to sit down, and you're going to write out a promise that you're going to start acting like brothers. It's going to be a friendship pact. You're going to start doing things together and enjoying things together. Now do it right now. I have a 22 year old who watches what Beva does every day now, but it was very unrealistic to sit them down, to plot them like that. That's how you missed it by you. It would be nice if it worked. Yeah, and you know, that would have been it. Oh, they didn't plot that easily. They didn't get us for abuse of children. No, but they don't plot that easily. It was, it, it was a lovely show. We all grew up and wanted to have 
you a house and you a life, but it really wasn't real. What did you say? I said they did in 57. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm watching the no. scene. No. Oh. No. I mean, it was a different time. You handle things differently. You wouldn't handle it that way today, nor would you. Now, they're doing a new series today, and you wouldn't handle it that way today, would you? There's a whole other ethic. But so what did you want like to, you want to, you want to do? Therapy. <laughs> <laughs> I have two of my four sons with me, and I would have had difficulty saying to them, Barbara, now you're going to sit down and write about this. I at one time had... You, you know today, they'd call their lawyer. <laughs> no, they wouldn't. No, they wouldn't. <laughs> That's because they're grown up. But I remember one time opening the front door and saying, now go outside, and when you've settled it, come on back in. Yeah. Standards and practices wouldn't let you do it. Yeah, I, uh, this has been fun for us, and clearly you have uh, probed into the memories of this audience as well as our viewers. We should say that Barbara Billingsley is starring in Still the Beaver, now on cable.